So today we're going to talk about June Aid. Oh yeah! June Aid is the four star fire fighter from season five. Today we're going to talk about his stats, his skills, his family bonus, passive, and an idea of where to put emblems on June Aid. Fully leveled up without emblems, June Aid comes in an attack of 748, a defense of 573, and a HP of 1260. Compared to the other 28 four star fire heroes at time of recording that is seventh out of 28 in attack 22nd out of 28 in defense and 12th out of 28 in hp so in brief he is great in attack poor at defense and average at hp for a four star fire hero Junaid's special skill is called Slash and Support. It's broken into two parts. The Slash is a 400% damage hit to one opponent. And the Support is a heal to all allies, 30% of the damage done by that special skill. At time of recording, it is the hardest hitting 4 star fire sniper hit by quite some margin. If you look to the right hand side of the screen, I have done a damage comparison chart. And as you can see, there is a big difference between first place June Aid and who is in second place. So the hit one 400% hit is quite self-explanatory. However, the heal to all needs some more explaining. So let's unpack that. It's written on the card as a 30% heal to all allies of damage done. However, I think this could be worded a little bit better. If it read 30% heal of the HP taken from your opponent, that would explain the special skill slightly better. And this is because the amount of HP left on your opponent has a impact on how much you are healing your allies. For example, if you do 800 damage to your opponent, that is a 240% heal to all, as 240 is 30% of 800. However, if the same opponent only had 500 HP remaining and you did the same amount of damage, it would only be a 150 HP heal to all of your allies. If that same opponent had 250 HP remaining, even if you did 800 damage, it would only be a 75 HP heal to all of your allies. One thing to note is if your opponent only has one HP remaining, let's say it's a fighter who has revived and you hit that opponent, you do get a one heal for all of your allies. It is rounded up. Now moving on to Junaid's passive skill. Junaid has a 50% chance to perform the following when Junaid casts his special skill. It's an extra 70% damage to all enemies and all enemies get minus 24% man generation for three turns. So that's a 50% chance, so half the time you're going to be doing 70% more damage to all of the enemies. So it's going to go from a hit one to a hit all, so that big sniper is going to have even more damage. And then all enemies are getting minus 24% mana generation for three turns. The negative mana generation ailments are still a very, very popular skill in the game, so Junaid is going to be getting that half the time you use his special skill slash and support. Very nice little extra passive. But that's not all. He also is part of the Moon family. Depending on if you have one or two members of the Moon family in your team, you have a 50 or 75% chance to cast minus 24% defensive down for two turns and 146 water damage over two turns to a hero who deals special skill damage to Junaid. So half the time that's going to be happening when Junaid is the only Moon family member in this team. If you have another unique member of the Moon family team, it goes up to three out of four times that's going to be happening. And if this wasn't enough, this goes up to 75% or 100% chance if you have more than one member of the Moon family present if the opponent's special skill defeats June Aid. Not only is that great for you on offense to have those additional passive and Moon family bonuses, but it's also great for June Aid on defense, because let's be honest, there is so much 
to remember in Empires and Puzzles. There are too many heroes, and there's no way everyone's going to remember what's going to happen when you hit Junaid with that special skill. So, with all that in mind, where are you going to put emblems on Junaid? Let's compare the sword and the shield pathways for Junaid. Going down the sword pathway, so anywhere where there are swords present, brings his attack up to 852. His defense is still low at 662, and his HP goes to 1000. 348 going down the shield pathway so prioritizing anywhere there are shields gives junaid 807 on attack 716 on defense which is much more respectable and 1369 on hp so where do i recommend going with junaid well it depends on what you're going to use junaid for for regular five star raiding i would recommend going down the shield path to keep him alive so you can use those healing skills if you are going to use june aid for four star tournaments four star events i would go down the sword path to max the damage but as june aid is such a versatile hero you could just keep two of him and take one down each of the emblem pathways for disclosure, I'm taking my first Junaid down the sword pathway because I'm going to have him as part of my events team. That's all the time we have to discuss Junaid. I hope this video was useful. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.